1995 Lincoln sent with double die obverse. Graded in mint state 69 by PCGS. According to Heritage Auctions, strong die doubling appears on Liberty and in God. It is less apparent, though still noticeable, on the date and we trust. This popular guide book and cherry picker's guide variety is unknown above the MS69 red grade level, not surprising considering the grade is about as close to technically perfect as one could expect of a circulation strike. Fully struck copper orange surfaces are essentially pristine. Moderate flow lines appear in the fields. It was sold for $2,160. 1985 Lincoln Cent. Graded in Mint State 68 plus read by PCGS. According to Grading Service, the 1985 P. Lincoln Cent is very easy to find in circulation. Only in MS 66 condition or higher is it scarce. In MS 67 condition it's a little more difficult to find but with enough roll searching an example can easily be found. In MS 68 condition they are very difficult to find and it is probably easier to buy an example than to try and find one. Plus designated specimens are almost unheard of and they command strong premiums at auctions. This one was bargained for $1,075. 1955 Lincoln sent with double die obverse. Graded as MS 63 plus read by PCGS. According to Jamie Hernandez, the 1955 double die Lincoln sent is unquestionably the most famous double die coin in the entire Lincoln sent series and possibly, even the most famous double die coin in numismatics. Doubling is boldly evident on all obverse letterings and the date. The 1955 double dies were created when the mint struck a working hub and a working die together while they were both slightly rotated differently from one another. This MS 63 plus specimen ended up selling for $7,156.25 with buyer's fee. 1919 D. Lincoln Cent. Graded in Mint State 65 plus read by PCGS. According to NGC, though an armistice was declared late in 1918, the superheated wartime economy rolled on into the following year. The Philadelphia Mint set a record for cent production in 1919 that was not exceeded until 1940 when another war loomed. This issue is common in all grades, and some of the finest early date Lincolns are 1919p cents. Though the amazingly detailed obverse hub of 1916 had already lost of some of its finer features, well-struck examples of this issue from fresh dyes are still quite pleasing when measured against the grossly distorted images from the 1940s-60s. This elusive penny was sold for $3,544.88 with buyer's fee. 1950 Lincoln Cent. Graded as MS67 plus read by NGC. This is another issue that is surprisingly scarce in MS67 RD. Typical of Philadelphia mint cents from this period, the 1950 issue is usually well struck but with a duller, brick red color than for cents of the war years and later 1950s. Many survivors also suffer from spotting and light staining. There are no varieties of note though a few cut die breaks are known. This high-graded specimen ended up selling for $1,762.88 with buyer's fee. 2010 D. Shield Lincoln Cent. Graded in Mint State 67 read by PCGS. The new 2010 Shield Cent design was first unveiled to the public on November 12, 2009. The U.S. Mint presented the new Shield design in a ceremony which took place at the Ulysses S. Grant Memorial in Washington, D.C. Denver Mint produced over 2 billion of them for 2010. Uncirculated and lustrous specimens are in abundance, but many of them come with bag marks, plating blisters and so on. Population gets thinner at Mint State 66 and above. PCGS reported 28 specimens in MS 67 grade with just single finer. This superb gem fetched a sum of $1,518.75 with buyer's fee. 1918 Lincoln Cent. Graded as MS 67 read by PCGS. The 1918 Lincoln Cent. Struck in the final year of World War I, claims a prodigious mintage of more than 288 million coins. However, the coins circulated heavily and the issue is quite elusive at the MS67 grade level, with a red designation. This delightful superb gem exhibits razor-sharp definition on all design elements and the virtually pristine original red surfaces are lustrous and appealing. It was sold for $6,300. 1929 D. Lincoln Cent. Graded in Mint State 66 Plus read by PCGS. According to Stax Bowers, exceptionally well produced for an issue that is known for the widespread use of worn dyes, this premium quality gem is sharply defined throughout. Satiny and smooth, the surfaces are of further desirability given the full pinkish rose luster that the coin retains. Although mint state survivors of this high mintage issue are plentiful in an absolute sense, most are confined to lower grades due to poor striking quality, subdued luster or numerous detracting blemishes. This example was sold for $7,800. 1943 S. Steel Cent. 
graded in Mint State 68 by PCGS and further confirmed by CAC. The 1943S Lincoln Steel sent is collectible even as fine as MS-68, although pieces in this grade are scarce with CAC endorsement and under high demand from registry collectors. The present coin is among the finest examples of this issue known. It was sold for $3,120. 1914 D Lincoln Cent. Graded as MS-64 Red and Brown by PCGS. The 1914 D Lincoln Cent is one of the key dates in the series behind the 1909 SVDB. This choice red and brown example is in a good grade for a wide range of collectors to acquire a quality piece. However, it is scarce with its CAC approval. It ended up selling for $4,680. 1982 Small Date Lincoln Cent. Graded as MS69 Red by PCGS. An incredible condition rarity from this transitional modern issue. The surfaces are essentially flawless, painted in an even salmon pink hue. Satiny luster cartwheels without interruption across each side emphasizing the sharply rendered devices. It represents an incredible rarity and is destined for the most advanced collection of Lincoln Sense. This superb gem fetched a sum of $15,600. 2001 D. Lincoln Scent, graded in Mint State 69 Red by PCGS. According to website of grading service, the 2001 D. Lincoln Scent is very common. Examples can easily be found in circulation, up to about MS-65 condition. Examples in MS-66 to MS-67 can be found in mint sets, bags, or rolls. In MS-69 condition, it is very scarce, but if someone decides to buy one graded, with enough patience, one will eventually surface in the market. Nevertheless, PCGS certified just 23 specimens this fine, including this penny. Medium pink luster bathed smooth, satiny surfaces on both sides of this lovely superb gem. It fetched a sum of $920. 1941 Lincoln Cent with double die obverse. Graded as MS-66 plus read by PCGS and proven by CAC. A desirable double die variety with the strongest spread on the 4 in the date and the burr in Liberty. Cherry Pickers lists 3 DDO varieties for the issue, and FS-101 is intermediate between FS-102 and FS-103 in terms of importance. This MS-66 specimen ended up selling for $2,931.75 with buyer's fee. 1956 Lincoln Cent. Graded as MS-67 plus read by NGC. With nearly a half million pieces coined, this issue is hardly rare, even in fully red gem condition. It is only at the MS-67 RD level that the population thins considerably. MS-67 plus gems are relatively rare. Total of $1,194.75 was realized from the sale of this specimen at auction. 1943 Lincoln Cent with Overdate 3 over 2 and Double Die Obverse. Graded as MS-68 by PCGS. Remnants of a 2 are discernible around the 3 in the date on this variety, and the 19 in the date are doubled. The current example is the sole finest piece attributed by PCGS. It was sold for $5,760. 1964 Lincoln Cent from Special Mint Set widely known as SMS Scent. Enigmatic Experimental Mint Issue. According to Heritage Auctions, there is no way to explain the existence of 1964 SMS coins. These coins have a special finish, often described as falling between proof and mint state circulation strikes. They closely resemble the 1965 special mint set coinage in terms of quality. Speculation suggests the 1964 SMS coins were struck as mint trials prior to the introduction of 1965 special mint sets. Or, they may have served as special presentation sets. But the mint does not report any such mintage. It is thought no more than 50 1964 sets were produced. This MS-65 red scent example displays the appropriate razor-sharp strike and obvious dye polishing to create its special appearance. It was sold for $18,000. 1921 S. Lincoln scent. Graded in Mint State 65 Re by PCGS. Delightful golden orange surfaces are fully lustrous with a much shaper strike than typically encountered for the issue. A relatively limited mintage of 15,274,000 pieces has made the 1921S a popular Lincoln scent with collectors since the year of issue. Though Lincoln scent specialists are well aware, the casual bidder would be surprised by the relative dearth of gem red examples of the 1921S in today's market. This is a better produced, better preserved example and it ended up selling for $26,400. 2009 D Professional Lincoln Cent. Graded in Mint State 67 by PCGS. According to Jamie Hernandez, 
The 2009 professional Lincoln scent design represents Abraham Lincoln's professional life in Illinois, from about 1830 to 1860. The professional reverse design is the third of four different themes used in 2009 for the Lincoln scent. Each design represents a memorable time in Lincoln's life. This professional scent in Mint State 67 ended up selling for $1,173.73. 2005 Lincoln scent with satin finish from Special Strike, graded in Mint State 70 red by PCGS. According to Jamie Hernandez, in 2005, the U.S. Mint introduced a satin finish uncirculated coin set which gave the coins a special satin-like appearance. Coins were struck with sandblasted dyes and in burnished coin blanks. The satin finish coins were only struck from 2005 to 2012. Dot, most examples came in really good quality with most examples grading about MS67, MS68 condition. Nicer examples graded MS69 while very few achieved the MS70 grade. This numismatic pinnacle ended up selling for $1,725. 1930s Lincoln sent with repunched mint mark S over S. The remnants of an undertype S are visible to the north of the primary mint mark, identifying the popular cherry pickers variety. This spectacular superb gem exhibits sharply detailed design elements throughout, and the virtually flawless original red surfaces radiate vibrant mint luster, with outstanding eye appeal. It was sold for $5,760. 1912s Lincoln Scent. Graded as MS66 Red by PCGS. From a smallish mintage of 4.4 million pieces, the 1912s Lincoln Scent is a better date in the popular series. With red surfaces, the 1912S is a collectible issue in grades up to the MS65 level, but specimens in MS66 are condition rarities. This spectacular premium gem exhibits razor-sharp definition on all design elements, and the impeccably preserved original red surfaces are lustrous and appealing. It was sold for $10,200. 1946 Lincoln Scent. Graded in Mint State 67 Plus Red by PCGS. According to NGC, with a high mintage for a San Francisco mint coin and the usual hoarding of S mint cents by collectors and speculators, this issue is quite plentiful in mint state grades. Even gems are only slightly scarce, though the more astute collector will want to hold out for one which is fully struck from fresh dyes. These are surprisingly difficult to locate, as the San Francisco mint in the late 1940s was very budget-minded and ran the dyes way too long. This elusive specimen was sold for $25,312.50 with buyer's fee. 1957 D. Lincoln sent over struck on a Roosevelt dime. Graded as MS61 by Annex. Struck over a previously struck Roosevelt dime with the prior devices and lettering clear in areas. Toned with copper gold on both sides with lustrous fields and minimal signs of handling. It ended up selling for $2,585. 1922 No. D. Lincoln sent with strong reverse. Graded as MS62 Brown by PCGS. Die pair 2, showing a strong second 2 in the date. This is the so-called strong reverse dye pair, which is unique among the three no D varieties for having a fresh reverse dye that imparted sharp details. Dye pairs 1 and 3 show a mushy reverse. The present coin displays medium olive brown patina and is well defined for the issue, the obverse showing the diagnostic softness. It ended up selling for $13,800. That's wraps up today's episode. Thanks for watching this video. Please make sure to smash subscribe and notification buttons below to help us grow and reach more numismatic enthusiasts on YouTube. God's willing, see you in the next episode.